All right, peeps, what's up? It is your boy, Chaos Live 09, coming in on this Monday, cloudy Monday for me. Um, I'm about to get ready to prepare the grill. I did attempt to make this video last night, but my battery life was, you know, not pretty lenient to me, and I didn't have my charger coil with me in the kitchen, which there is a charger. Well, not a charger. I do have a charger, but there is a the electric socket right there near the counter but i was kind of lazy and kind of pressed for time so i tried to make the video and i also had the uh my light on on the phone in which i had like 10 percent left so it was pretty low but i am going to be doing some riffs today i marinated these in the refrigerator I did cut them up yesterday these are st. Louis ribs I don't know if you guys know about st. Louis ribs but you guys can see the seasoning in there seasonings on them pretty good but what I'm going to be putting on them this time this is my first time trying this or doing this but I made a rub as you can see is uh, pretty much brown this brown sugar light brown sugar I don't know what they make brown sugar like that anymore but I'm trying to get a closer look a zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like in here it looks pretty cool it looks good as well too i did taste it and i think i got the flavors that i want to blend on it and don't pay attention to the pan it's a pretty old pan don't worry about it but let's go ahead and get these bad boys smothered with the rub I do have some thicker ones in there some thicker ribs in there but I'm gonna do them differently than this I'm most definitely gonna try and get this because this one only has like a bone right here on the edge right there oh, and it's got a lot of meat on it so I'm gonna try and get get that one for myself you know there are some decent sized ones in here and they have a good amount of meat on them but Chef Chaos wants the one with a lot of meat. So I did try to heat my grill up, but I don't think all of my charcoal got enough lighter fluid on it so they can all get hot at the same time and the grill can get a decent temperature. So I just put the lid on it so it can cool down and then I can stir up the charcoal and make sure all of them have a good amount of let me pick this up a bit so you guys can see how much meat is right here. And I'm also at my computer desk because I'm grilling on the porch. And I'm also sitting on my phone, propping it up on a Dairy Queen cup. Right, so let's go ahead and rub some of these ribs down. And look how it looks on it. It looks pretty good on top of the ribs this is just me branching out more onto my channel doing some other things you know it's right now my switch is messed up on me right now but I was able to save a lot of my content because thank lord for having a mom like mine my mom has a Nintendo Switch, but she mainly got it for like my cousins, you know, cause they like playing video games too. But my mom grew up playing video games. She grew up with the NES and you know, the NES was like her mom's favorite console. So she has a tie into video games as well too. So that works out for me because I use my mom's Switch to transfer all of my saved data <laughs> over to her Switch. So when I get my Switch fixed, when I get it sent off eventually, I will be able to get all of my content back. I was able to put all of my shinies that were in separate games like Sword and Shield, Let's Go Pikachu, um, BDSP, what else? Am I missing a game? Legends, yes. <laughs> I almost forgot about Legends. 
But yes, ledges as well too. I think I might be saving some of this rub for the other ribs in there too. I don't know if I'm gonna do those differently, which I may do those differently, but you know, you know how that goes. But I did let my mom test out my rub before I put it on the ribs and she said it's pretty good. She said it's a little bit spicy, which I don't think I put too much cayenne pepper in here. But I did put some mesquite uh, barbecue seasoning, well not barbecue seasoning, seasoning but grill seasoning up here on these. And I just let this sit up here some more once I finish putting this on top. So that I can get the grill going and then also that sweet flavor from the rub will be up here on the ribs. Uh, I did not rub that one, I don't think. Okay, I did rub it. Okay, I did rub it. This one doesn't have too much. That's just on the back side. That's mostly bone on that one, so I won't put too much on that one. But I put it on the sides. How about that? I rub it there on the sides. I'll probably probably be posting a short so you guys can see the outcome of the ribs and stuff like that. I want to make sure that I get it at a really good hot enough temperature to where like the meat will fall off the bone. Mm, yeah, that one's got a lot of good meat on it, so I'll try to rub that in pretty good. Rub some in back there. Now, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too sweet. It shouldn't be too sweet. It's got some heat in it. Mesquite is, you know, sweet, but it does have like a heat kick in it as well, too. Not too much of a heat kick, but that's why I put a bit of cayenne pepper in there so it can give that little heat factor in there. And then it'll get all the flavors to pop in and mix together because that's what usually heat does when you put like cayenne pepper or like hot sauce on like meat and stuff if you have seasonings into it it'll bring out the heat the heat will bring out the flavor of your meat but yeah i hope they look nice and pretty and they look real nice to go on the grill and i have a good bunch of it left over if you guys can see good bit of it left over so i just sit that right there lift this up with my other hand get this back side oh and another thing when like um you're doing ribs or trying to do ribs oh my god it is raining well that is fine i put the lid on top of the grill and i'm going to move the grill to the front porch because we have a balcony on the front porch. Well, not so much as a balcony, but a roof part over our front porch. So like the rain won't get there. So I'll do it that way. So it's pretty convenient. All right, these boys are looking nice. So if you guys stay through this video of me, you know, just putting my new rub that I'm testing out on these ribs and I know Philly, Philly Pinanes, he likes when I, you know, make uh, <laughs> grill videos or videos with me grilling food. A lot more other YouTubers like it as well, too. Uh, hopefully, I could try and do like a tutorial thing. Because I attempted to, but my phone was, you know, like not my best friend that day. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My right hand is covered in rub. So, I'll see you guys soon after these boys get off the grill. Thank you guys for tuning in, and peace. Move my hand. My bad about that. All right. Peace.